Hi there, Mr. Shifley here. I hope you're having a good day and I'm glad you could join me. Today we're going to make a drawing that hopefully will brighten up everyone's day. We're going to draw the sun. Okay, so I'm going to draw the sun here. I'm going to start with a practice circle above the paper and then I'm going to put my marker down. And if I don't get it quite right the first time, that's okay. You can draw it a second time. You know, it's all right. Especially since I started with a lighter color here, yellow. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curved line here. This is for, my son's going to have a face. So this is, so I know where the center of the face is. And then I'm going to draw another line right here so I can line up the eyes. And I know a lot of you kids don't like to draw lines on your faces like this, but it kind of helps line everything up. And then, you know, if you're doing a pencil drawing, you can always erase those later. But I think I'll be okay with these here because my son's going to be yellow in the end, so it's all right. Here are a couple eyebrows here. And I'm going to draw the inside of the eye here. He's just looking off to the side over here. And here's his nose, and he's going to be giving everybody a big smile. Hopefully this drawing will brighten up everybody's day. A little reflection in the eye there. Just drawing everything with a really light color first and then I'll go back in with a darker color later. So along the outside of the sun, we're gonna do these rays of sunlight. Can you see those okay? I'm gonna center this up a little bit. There we go. And then maybe we'll have like some, some of these like, you know, like, maybe that's like a solar flare coming out of the sun there. Sort of look like fire. Just to really make this sun look nice and bright. And these can be, each one of these is a little bit different. These are more uniform, and then these can wiggle any which way. Maybe one just kind of blasts out like that. Okay, so I'm just kind of experimenting there with some different sun rays. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is put a couple nostrils in here. And I'm going to put the lid on this yellow. And I think I'm going to switch to black now. Now that I have everything kind of lightly put in place, I'm going to go ahead and just start bringing out some detail here. Here's one eye. I'm going to fill that in black. And then this part I'm going to shade in just a little bit. It's going to be darker up here when it's closer to the lid and more spread out and lighter down here at the bottom. I can make the lid, the eyelid, a little bit darker. Double up, triple up that line. Go over here to this other eye, fill that in. giving my son a little bit of personality here. And then the eyebrows. See, these eyebrows aren't quite in the right place when I drew it with the yellow, but now I can go in with the black and really put that eyebrow where I think it belongs. And you can experiment with um, varying the width of your lines 
So these eyebrows are going to be skinny on the ends, but then I'm going to thicken them up here on this curve. Like that. <clears throat> Here's the nose. The nostril and the nostril. I don't want to overdo it on the nose. I'm just going to keep it kind of simple. It's just a cartoon sun. I mean, the sun doesn't really have a face like this. It's imaginary. So you can make this sun look however you want. Down here to the mouth. And I'm going to give this sun just a huge toothy smile. So I'm going to do a curve line here, curve line here. These are like the teeth. And then this is just a little bit of the gums here. So he's just got a big smile. You can see all his teeth shining there. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of line here. Just so he's got a big smile here. And then maybe just a hint of some gums down here. Just a little bit. So there's our son's face. Now I can just very carefully go along the outline here. If you make a mistake like I did here, just, that's okay, we'll just cover this up. We'll vary the thickness of the line a little bit and then it won't look so much like a mistake. No one will ever know. It's gonna be our secret, okay? You don't have to, nobody has to know that I messed up. Let's see, hmm, yeah, I should go ahead and outline this too. I'm gonna have to be a little more confident because these lines here, those are just worry lines. Those are just lines you get when you're worrying about your, your drawing. And if you're confident, you don't get those as much. So I'm just gonna go for it. There we go. I feel better about those now. See, just a little confidence. Have confidence in yourself. Okay. There's that one. And that one. Hmm. I'm not sure what I was thinking with this one, but I'll go with it. I'll just go with it. And I don't, let's see, I think I'm going to fix this up just a little bit around that there. There we go. And the last one here. Okay, so now I'm going to think about maybe just some patch marks in here to offer a little shading. Maybe a couple hatch, orange hatch marks here. Maybe just a little bit on the side, bottom of the nose here, and up the side of it a little bit. And just some down here. Let's see, and then I'm also going to do that a little bit on here. And these are gonna sort of radiate out from the sun. You might have to turn your paper. So get, get the kind of line you want. These, yeah. So they're closer together here, but as it spreads out, they're going to separate a little more.
How's your sun going right now? You know, if it's a little different than mine, that's all right. And when you're finished, just show it to somebody. Hopefully it'll brighten up their day. Make their day a little bit better. Okay? You know what, I'm thinking this inside part of the eye here. Yeah, the sun's gonna have orange eyes. Yeah, orange irises. Yeah, okay, so there's my sun. I think I do need a little more yellow in here. It makes me think of the book, The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers, one of my favorite illustrators. And in that book, orange and yellow, the orange and yellow crayons are arguing over what the true color of the sun is. And, you know, I think we all know that the true answer is it can be orange, it can be yellow, it can be green if you want it to be. Because all the colors that we see actually come from the sun's light. All right. So there is my son. I hope you're happy with the way yours turned out. Okay, well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.